earlier we talked about stability trends and it was always about spreading out the electrons. For example, a larger atom can better hold a negative charge because you can spread out that surplus of electrons over a larger surface area. So the more we can spread out our electrons, the more stable our product is going to be. And the stabilizing energy that we have with our resonance contributors is known as resonance energy. So the more we can delocalize, the more stable our compound is going to be. So one particular problem that we could give you is ask you which one of these two compounds is going to be more stable and why? The one on the left or the one on the right? Go ahead and pause this recording right now and try to see which one you think is going to be more stable. All right, now let's go over which one's going to be more stable. The one there on the left and the one there on the right. It is indeed going to be the one on the left being more stable. And the reason for that is that there's no resonance that can be drawn for the molecule on the right. We can't move those pi electrons to help out that positive charge. The greater stability is from the resonance energy shown for the molecule on the left. Because one on the left has more resonance structures, it's going to be more stable. And that causes the one on the right to be more reactive. 